Hey, welcome to Rant Can Cook. Uh, we appreciate you guys today. Today we're going to make a little side dish that I think is excellent. Really good for, you know, when the springtime gets here and summer gets here. Chad's out here in the audience. Say hello to everybody. Thank you for your Thank service. T-Rock is filming for me today. I'm just kidding. It's actually Tyler. Tyler, Tyler. <laughs> so I wanted to get you a better angle. Uh, normally we're looking at Claude looking down, T-Rock looking up. So that's for you, T-Rock. We miss you. But anyway, so today we're doing side dishes. Uh, we're going to do loaded potato salad. Now, everybody does it different. Um, you can do it however you want to. To me, I like to serve this warm, or it can be served cold, and uh, so that's kind of what we're going to work on today. So, if you look over here in the sink, I've got roasted reds. Kind of chopped those up. We went ahead and boiled them. They boiled probably about 30 minutes, give or take, and uh, so they've been ready to go. Um, you don't have to smash them. You can. You can use a smasher. I just use a spoon. I have some freshly, by myself, Colby Jack shredded, uh, some low-sodium bacon bits, uh, some ranch. Now, you have the option, if you wanted to, you have the option to use sour cream and some ranch seasoning. I'm not a big sour cream fan, so that. Then just a little bit of seasoned salt and a little bit of pepper, and this is it. Really easy to make, goes a long way. Today we're doing roasted chicken, uh, baked beans, and this is kind of like a little barbecue style. So anyway, I'm gonna drain these. Got these been sitting for a while. Uh, usually what you wanna do is you wanna start them out in cold water, have these guys sitting in there, put a little, almost like a hot tub, and then put them a little bit of seasoned salt in there, let them boil for about 30, 40 minutes. So here's the key. Now, if you ever have to make mashed potatoes, this is a side note, if you ever have to make, make mashed potatoes, uh, don't ever whip them up and then let them sit there for 30 minutes because they're going to get cold. So my key, the secret is you let them sit in that hot water, you just cut them off and let them sit in that hot water for 20 or 30 minutes. Then you can do them right at the end. They're going to be fresh, they're going to be hot, it's going to taste a lot better. Learn that the hard way. So anyway, we're going to mix this all up and we'll kind of go from there. Now, I do want to give you like a little side note. Today, I know it's raining. It's a little bit of cool out there, and you're probably going to be running late. So just for us sake, while we're eating about one something a day is, guys, if you're driving, drive slow. Give, I mean, they really do say that. They, they say, you know, when it's raining, make sure you give yourself plenty of time to get there. That's all we're asking. Ain't that right, Tyler? That's right. That's right. Ain't that right, Chad? Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. So that's two agreements. Those are both yes, in case you don't speak Chad. But those are both uh, two ways to do it. So just, just remember to drive slow, because otherwise me and Tyler and Chad are going to have to work on you. And you don't want to see our faces. I'm not, not, there's nothing wrong with our faces. So anyway, I've got about eight ounces of cheese. I'm going to put this in there. These are, it's like a loaded potato version. You can move those in there. Now, the good thing about mixing this already in there, as you get, um, while it's still warm, it's going to help melt your cheese. Now, I just kind of smash it with my spoon. Uh, you can kind of chop it up. And what we're going to do to make more of the potato salad, I'm not a big mustard fan, by the way. So I don't really like mustard that much. I will eat it if it's in something. But... Probably one of the worst, I wouldn't say the worst most. So I had this rookie who decided he was going to cook for us one day, and he saw something on Pinterest. Now, I like Pinterest. It's got some good stuff. But he decided to do some, like, roasted chicken and have potatoes, and then what I called them, drowned them in honey mustard. And so everything I eat the rest of that day, my green beans tasted like, ugh. Anyway, don't honey mustard everybody to death, because you can't undo it. So anyway, you smash these, get this good mixed up. All right, mo moving them around. Keep that cheese, so we'll go ahead and start melting. And then you can put your bacon bits. And this is, like I said, a good side dish, uh, especially, you know, so easy even a rookie could put, do it. That's kind of our philosophy. We'll go ahead and do a ranch. I do a Hidden Valley. I, that's really my preference on, on ranch, but I can eat any kind if you have to. And we're just going to pour a little bit in there. This is not real low fat for you, probably. Uh, so you probably want to do, do just like a tablespoon or two when you do eat it. And we're going to kind of continue mix. I'm going to let Tyler zoom in over here on me. And kind of show you how it's going so far as far as my consistency is concerned. Uh, it's real easy. Cheese is starting to melt. Now will be a good time to do a bacon bits of meat. And we're going to kind of go from there. I'll do a little bit of pepper. You can just put as much as you want. But just a little splash of pepper in there. And a little seasoned salt. The good thing about it is the bacon bits has already got a little salt. And the ranch already has some, so you don't have to do a ton. And I'll uh, just kind of mix it up. Going from there, you can see almost like a loaded potato. And kind of do it. Now I did reds again because reds is a little bit better for you. Uh, and also too the the you know the outside's pretty not too bad. The peeling's not bad for you. I don't think it tastes pretty good. So you can serve it however you want to. Tyler, you think you need some more ranch? What you think? No, it looks good. You like it like that? That's mm -hmm. pretty good consistency. So you can see the cheese kind of bring it together. It's still pretty thick. Uh, you can chill this if you want to serve it cold. Uh, probably about three or four hours it'll take if you stick it, stick it straight into the fridge. Or we're going to serve ours hot today. That's kind of how I prefer it. And kind of go from there. Very easy side. I call that Randy's loaded potato salad. Ranch dressing, a little bit of seasoned salt, a little bit of pepper. Eight ounces of Colby. I probably used half this bottle of this uh, 
See, see now it's fine. It's about eight ounces worth, and you should be good to go. And kind of go from there. So that is our sides today on our barbecue. We're doing sticky fingers. We're gonna see who's got the best sweet heat or Carolina. I'll show you the oven real quick. Come over here with me. Let you get a glimpse of lunch. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be some good going right there. So anyway, we hope you guys have a fantastic day, and uh, just please drop some. I know Tyler is going to look forward to working on you, and I don't really want to, but he's in medic school, still about to get out, and then me and Chad, you know, so. Yeah. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Thank you. All right, so anyway, it's Rand Can't Cook. Uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and remember to drive careful.